Hey everybody, Susan here with Pumpkin Hill Stampers. I have a Stampin' Show and Tell for you today and we're going to be using the fun set Whiskey Business. So um, this set has some really fun features to it. It's got lots of great sentiments for our guys. Um, it's got these beautiful um, etched drawings of the bottle and the glass. And then we've got this background panel here which kind of looks like a floorboard. And I'm going to show you how I use that to create this background piece here. So it's going to be a kind of a quick card but I'll take you through my process, okay? Alright, so for starters, I have got a piece of soft suede cardstock that I have run through my embossing machine with the brick and mortar embossing folder, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and fold that in half and crease with my bone folder, okay? So that's easy peasy, right? Okay, so then I'm going to create this panel where I'm going to stamp my sentiment. So I have a piece of crumb cake. I have crumb cake ink and I have that little um, textured floorboard piece. So watch what I do here. So I'm going to take my ink, okay, and I'm just going to start near the top. Now you can see I didn't go all the way to the edge, okay, and one of the reasons I did that is now I'm going to overlap my piece just a little bit to kind of give it an overlapped um, seam, so it kind of looks like old floorboards. So when I think about whiskey, I think about whiskey barrels, and so I'm kind of going for that feel of an overlapped um, barrel panel. So I'm just coming down my strip, trying to line my stamps up so they're tight, but then also purposely giving them an overlapped lip for a background edge. Okay, so there's that. All right, so now I'm going to stamp my sentiment on there. So now I'm going to my early espresso because I wanted a deeper brown for that. So I'm just going to put my sentiment right here in the center on the bottom. Okay, so that's going to go on the front of my card. And then on the inside, I'm going to stamp this other sentiment. Being a dad is whiskey business. I think that's kind of cute. So, I'm just going to put that there, and then I'm going to stamp my little glass again with my memento. Now I'm doing memento because I'm going to use my blends to give it some shading. And I'm just going to put that underneath. Okay? Now while I let that dry for a minute, I'm going to show you what else I did with those glasses. So I started with very vanilla paper, and I stamped my images in memento, the bottle and the and the uh, glass. And then what I did was I took my So Saffron uh, blender pen, okay, and I just gave it a good inking all the way over. Now you're going to notice I'm not coloring inside by lines, I'm just going right over the image. So I'm just shading my very vanilla with my So Saffron. So I could have stamped it right on So Saffron and saved myself that step, but I kind of wanted that glow that the markers give it. Then I'm coming in with my um, Mango Melody blend, and I'm only doing the liquid part of the image. So this one I want to be a little careful on because I don't want to overdo it, and it's going to leave me with a two-tone image, okay? And you can add more shading to that as you go. And then in my glass, I kind of came around the ice cubes, so that you kind of get that uh, glow through effect that you when you see ice and glass. So I just added a little bit of shading for that. And then I've got my uh, soft suede and I'm just going to do the cork and the top. So kind of three shades on there. And then I just took my paper snips and I went right ahead and um, trimmed it right out along the edges. So the only tricky part about that is right around these curves, but you can do it if you take your time. Okay, so I've done that. Alright, so that's how I shaded them. Okay, you see I could do a whole sheet at once, and now I've got those ready to add to my card. Okay, so let's build the front of our card. I'm going to use my liquid adhesive here just to add my strip on. So I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive on the back. Put this down, base of my card, press that just for a second to hold. Then I need 
some dimensionals and I'm going to add my bottle and my glass. So I'm just going to put these right on the back. I'm going to go ahead and use my edge just to give it a little bit of pop. So I've got my bottle and my glass. Okay. Then to add a little bit of fun, I'm also going to do this little rind and I can trim that out in just a minute and add that on. So for the inside, right, here's our center. I'm going to go ahead and color these just like I did before, only this time I'm going to do it inside the lines. Now you might think, why am I coloring on the crumb cake, right? These colors aren't really going to show. But you're going to see that as they dry, they really do kind of lighten the paper. And so I'll show you the finished one. As they dry, it will start to show the color. So did the whole thing with the so saffron, and then I'm going to come in with the mango melody. And again, I'm just adding it to the liquid portion of the image. Okay, so then that is going to get added to the inside of my card. Just like that. Okay, and then like I said, I'm just going to cut out this little rind. So I always use my paper snips. They come right along nice and smooth. You can get up close. And I'm just going to come around trim my edges and then I'm just going to add this to the front as a little embellishment, right? There, let's get that last little piece off. Oh my, fingers don't want to work. Okay, last little piece. I'll take one more little dimensional, stick that on the back, and then I'll just add this to the rim of the glass. Just a little fun embellishment there. Okay, so there we go. There's my quick and easy card with the Whiskey Business set and the brick and mortar embossing folder. So here's the one I did earlier. So you can see my inside, and here's the one I just did now. So you can see this one's still kind of light, and this one's got a little more color to it. So you can always go back and add a little more color too after it dries, but it does lighten, so you really can see the shading on that crumb cake paper. So that's it today, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, the technique and the card, and I hope you uh, enjoy stamping your own. All right, everybody. Great to have you all here, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.